Hello everyone. We are back with Glen Velvet Reviews here. And if you've seen my um, my fish, um, you know, uh, little, whatever. I'm into fish. If you've seen my fish, I got it on my channel. I'm into saltwater fish. I'm into rats. I'm into all kinds of shit as you can see. So right now I am at Tropical Fish and the Sea Level Aquarium on Route 46 in Pine Brook. This is all the places that it is next to. So if you guys come by, you'll be coming from this way. Uh, this is the way I did. So when you're coming down, there's a bank right there. So it's right past the bank. And there's a really good pizza place I went to a couple times uh, across the street. Um, it wasn't that expensive uh, if you don't get drinks, I think. Um, but they make the pizza a certain way at like a thousand degrees in like a hundred seconds or something. When I went there, it was pretty cool. And they got the bonefish. Uh, grill next door if you're into that. I don't know. I don't really So weird. So yeah, there's their little van which is really cool um, They must do uh, service I guess and uh, yeah Like I said the reason I'm not into bonefish grill is because I used to service that place and do work as a contractor and ew They do not have the best um, Clean up kitchens that I saw uh, it was pretty disgusting. I mean, maybe uh, maybe that's different than five years ago, but yeah, that was pretty gross. So anyway, I'm going to go in here. We're going to check out what they got. I'm going to buy some stuff. I can't go inside because I don't know the guy, and that won't be cool. And he'll probably be mad if I go inside with the camera. And uh, maybe if I come here a couple times, I'll ask him. But yeah, we'll see what fish that we get, and I will be back, and we'll see what fish that we got. All right, guys? See you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, we're back with Glen Velvet Reviews here. We're back at the house. We're back from the um, aquarium or fish store that I went to. Um, it was for, it was okay. It was nice. I mean, I didn't get to talk to the owner, Warren, that I, re that I read the reviews about. He was on the phone. I talked to his associate, and um, he... Um, I, t I talked to one of the other workers there, and um, he was okay i mean i don't know if he was really that educated i'm not sure um i mean let me check where's my phone all right so um sorry i had to take care of some stuff so anyway um yeah i mean his associate was okay didn't seem though kind of educated um I don't know. He didn't. He uh, tried to look after some other fish for me and help me out with my hair algae. Um, I just, I don't know. I wanted to see what Warren knew because that's where the reviews were. That's all. That's all I'm saying. It wasn't like, uh, you know, I just wanted to see what Warren knew, but he was on the phone. So I didn't get to talk to him there. Uh, I don't remember anybody else's name. Um, so he was, uh, so I got some trochus snails. I got two. They were $4.99 each. Um, and uh, I know snails have went up. And I got two, um, two emerald crabs. Um, like I said, I wasn't really searching for anything in particular. I just wanted to check the store out and I'm a very big local, um, business supporter. Uh, not just fish, everything. I get coffee sometimes at local shops that are new. It was pretty nice. <coughs> the only thing is that I noticed a lot of big fish and all you guys know, <coughs> I have a 40 gallon breeder, so I can only get you know, certain size fish, really, two, three inches, maybe three, four inches. That's all I can really get in my fish tank, um, as you know. And he had, like, what, 20-something fish tanks there? But, like, 90% of them had big fish in there that I couldn't really put in my fish tank. So, I don't know if that's just his customer base, maybe, of large fish. So, maybe that's just his customer base. So, um, you know, I saw they were okay prices, you know what I mean? I mean, they're not going to be as cheap online, obviously, because the bulk size is different. Um, but, um, from what I looked there, he was only about like maybe, you know, I don't know if I had to guess, maybe 10% to maybe 20% more on some of the stuff. If I saw stuff for like six sixty dollars online, he might've had it for 70 so, I mean, maybe that's, what, 15% increase. So, he probably had stuff 10 to 20% more than, you know, uh, Live Aquaria, saltwaterfish.com, or, you know, what's the Blue, Blue Zoo Aquatics. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's kind of my review on it. Like I said, very small freshwater section. I wouldn't recommend it for freshwater. But it's a little shop. I mean, you know, it's pretty cool. A lot of corals. If you're into corals, it's probably a better place for corals than fish. It seems like he had a lot more corals. Um than he did like with fish 
um, options. So a lot of options on. So maybe if you're into corals is a better place for you. Um, Cause I noticed he did, you know, think about it. He did have a large area of corals um, as big as like the real big, um, you know, shops around New Jersey as well. So I give him credit on that. Um, I don't know pricing on them or what they're supposed to be because you guys know I haven't really done corals in the fish tank. I just haven't had time with um, all my issues and my rental property and everything like that. I just haven't had the chance. So <clears throat> so let's get them open. Let's see how they're bagged up. We're going to look at them. He looked all over and he got me uh, two good ones of, the, of each of them, which is really cool. And then we're going to throw them in the tank. And yeah, that's the plan. So let's get them thrown in the tank. Let's see what they look like. Sea level aquariums, 28 US Highway. All right, there they are, right there. That's how much I paid for two trochus snails and two, um, what's that called? Two trochus snails and two uh, um, emerald crabs. So let's put the snails in there, get them acclimated as quick as we can. So we're gonna put them in there. Cause like I said, there's only, there's so little water in there. So it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to use the, uh, what, Innovative Marine on this side, I guess. All right, so we are going to go from, uh, what, three cups to six cups, I guess. It sounds good for me. So we'll go to three to six cups on that one. So that's kind of what they look like in there, so you guys will see. So that's what they gave me, the two that they gave me. And then these are the two that they gave me right here, all right? So, like I said, I'm going to do the same thing over there. Get that one acclimated. This is the acclimation system that I got from, uh, what's the name of that place? Absolutely Fish. I should have laid the bag on the top of the fish tank, right? That was dumb to get the temperature. But it shouldn't be bad. Temperature should not be off. It is air temperature, 75 degrees down here in my basement and the temperature in the tank is around 76 degrees so with this acclimating in here giving it the temperature i think i should be fine all right everybody we are back i let the uh snails out they're on the run um i over flooded my um floor while i was um trying to acclimate um, because I was watching a video, so I messed up, so, but you guys are gonna see those snails right there. For now, I put them in, there's both of them, and they're both on the run, which is awesome. Let me see if I can move this without spilling it. No, I can't, but that's okay. So I'll get you guys a little bit closer. There we go. So they're running around. Those are the two, um, trochus snails that I got. Oh, man, I made a mess. I'm so pissed mess and it's salt water so you got to be careful because otherwise it eats through stuff so yeah if they're on the run they're running around so i'm really happy about that that they're lively so let's get these uh two crabs out that they got me as well well they um didn't get me i bought i bought from them where's my there it is okay so this will put this little one in first oh wow Bam, out and done. There's that little one. So he's looking around. He's like, what's up? I'm here and I'm queer. I don't know how he's like. No, 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 no. Get back in here. Okay. Here's the bigger one that he did give me. Let's try to get him out. There he is. Come on. All right, so those are the two that I got from him. You guys will see that later in my update. I got to fix my hood. All right, so those are what I got. Uh, those are uh, running around. So you got the two snails still right there, the trochus on the bottom, and you got these two already going at it. I have a lot of algae, so I got a couple of, uh, as you have seen in the last couple days, snails. I mean six snails. Uh, six, uh, six emerald crabs so far. And you remember I picked him up with the missing arm. I picked him up a couple days ago. And there's my cleaner shrimp under there. 
And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much my tank. All right, there's everybody in it. There is a snail that's being a real pain in the R hole, uh, in the A hole, R hole, A hole, whatever. Um, right here, this pain in the ass is uh, keep going up in here, flipping over, and I gotta keep flipping them back. And I gotta, I'm just gonna take them out because he just not like you know like take them, put them somewhere in the tank somewhere because I keep putting them on the floor right here. But like a day or two later, he's back in the filter. It's really getting me mad. So, all right, so that's it for the update and the review on my tank and what I got, guys, just to show you. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'm out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.